let's talk varicose veins. <laughs> um, but seriously, one week till I get my first uh, EVLT, which is a laser treatment, and I'm doing my right leg first because it's the worst one, and then my left one. And I've actually gotten a lot of questions about this because like, hello, here, I'm 36. I've got these problem, like painful legs and varicose veins. So I thought I'd talk about a little bit about it. Um, first of all, if you have varicose veins and uh, you're in your 30s, you're not alone. <laughs> um, but seriously, so the reason behind varicose veins I've learned uh, is a couple factors. Pregnancy can really contribute to them. So one thing I wish I'd known before having kids is to wear compression stockings while I was pregnant um, because that could have helped stop this possibly. Um, but being overweight is another factor, but that's kind of a catch-22 and I'll get to why that is in a little bit. Um, so those were probably my two factors because genetics, I don't, not, I'm not aware of anybody else in my family having varicose veins, at least not this young. So, um, but that is a factor. So for me personally, um, it, after I had my second kiddo, I had some veins like kind of like pop out, like they were little bulges on my calf of my right leg. Um, about six months or so after I had, um, my second child, Buster, um, and that was in 2017. And at first I thought, and I'm like, oh, well, it doesn't look nice, but you know, <laughs> summer in Chicago is only a couple months. I can deal with it. And it didn't really bother me. Um, so, but then it got progressively worse. I started getting pain in my legs. Like it's kind of a aching pain sometimes, like if I'm moving too much, um, lifting too much, m exercising too much. So it's like this, catch, seriously, catch 22, like working out is supposed to make you feel better, right? Not make you feel worse. Um, and so I, at my doctor physical appointment, practically a year ago, it was June of 2018, I was talking to her about it and I told her that I'm like, when my legs really feel bad, I take ibuprofen and stuff. And so she said, okay, well, now it's time, you, you really need to get it addressed then to see if there's an underlying cause. So August of last year, um, I, she was referred me to a vein doctor and they did an ultrasound on my legs and found that my valves actually leak in my legs. So what does that, the valves are only go one way, um, in your legs. And so basically they're kind of broken <laughs> and they just let the blood pool towards the bottom of my legs. So that contributes to the heaviness feeling that I have. It also means that like, if I sit cross-legged or if I sit in the wrong position, um, then my, I, my legs go numb pretty, like really quick. Um, so I usually have to stretch out my legs. I have to put them up in order to make them feel better. So the blood flow is better. Um, bicycling, it does help them because it helps the circulation. Walking helps them, helps the circulation and all that. Um, so those are the kind of exercises that I could do. But what I couldn't do anymore is I couldn't lift weights. I couldn't um, do um, a... Uh, running I, a lot of exercises like that that puts a strain and pressure on the legs because it makes my legs hurt and like even now like i did a lot of walking this morning your hair as i fall over and i can literally feel the veins in my legs kind of like bulging right now in the in my uh thighs and my legs actually hurt that's why i'm standing up while doing um this video rather than sitting um usually during my kids quiet times it's when i put my legs up because I find if I have a good balance of moving and putting my legs up, I'm okay, but certain days are just, they hurt, they ache, it's painful, and it's not, it's not fun. I don't wish, I wouldn't, don't wish this on anybody. Um, it, it makes playing with my kids on the floor, I'm going to start crying. Um, it makes playing on the floor with my kids hard. It makes lifting my kids hard, and then on top of everything, when I had the car accident back in December and I hurt my back, I couldn't bicycle anymore, which doesn't help. And, um, and I started PT and that has helped so much, so much. But there's still certain th exercises in PT I can't do because of my legs. Um, like I can't do um, uh, like uh, squats because it's too much pressure on the veins and the legs, things like that, or lifting too much weights. Um, to to help the my you know strengthen my back so it's not in pain um so <laughs> to say i'm excited about getting this vein treatment is an understatement like i have been waiting this for, for a long time so literally i so i found out about the leaky leg veins in august but because of insurance reasons i had to wear compression stockings for about two months and then with some 
issues that I had with in, insurance after that too. Um, and then mis some miscommunications from my doctor's office. It got pushed back because we needed more insurance approval. And so finally, finally, I'm getting my first procedure done in my leg next Friday, getting the second one done in my other leg, and I cannot wait. I'm gonna have some more restrictions for a little while while they heal, uh, which is gonna be hard, but thank goodness I have an amazing support system between my my family um, and, and my friends too, um, but my sister is gonna help, my mom, my mother-in-law, because I'm not gonna be able to pick up a little guy for at least two weeks at all, period, um, after I have the lane, vein treatment, which um, honestly, like I wish I'd gotten this taken care of sooner, but that's life, and I'm getting taken care of now. So I'm glad that I am. I mean, that's, that's part of self-care too is, going to the doctor, seriously. Um, so I will probably make a video next Friday too about what the vein treatment was like. Um, because I, I really, I mean, I kind of know what to expect based off what the doctors told me, but I don't know completely. All I know is that pretty soon I'm not gonna, ugh, like right now they just ache and they hurt. And it's not a pleasant feeling. So I'm actually gonna try to go try to put them up for a little bit while the kids finish up quiet time and see if that helps a little bit more. Um, but seriously, it's like, okay, right now my legs feel better if I put them up. Sometimes they feel better when I walk. Uh, standing can, really, can aggravate them. So yeah, I'm gonna go put my feet up. But if you have questions about varicose veins or anything like that, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I've learned a ton in this whole process and I'm about to learn a lot more too. So I'm happy to share um, my, a little bit about my journey with this because it's been a long one and it's, oh, it's hopefully coming to an end pretty soon. So talk to you guys later. Bye.